Hello, little readers. Today we're going to read Piglet's Picnic by Jessica Suhami. One sunny day, Piglet had a great idea. She pinned up a notice which said, Come to a picnic by the river and bring your favorite food for us all to share. Yum! Love, Piglet. XXX. Then she set off for the picnic with her friend, Mouse. I've brought my most favorite food, Piglet. I hope you'll enjoy it. I wonder what's in his basket, Piglet thought. I hope there's enough for two. I'm peckish. They were soon joined by three blackbirds carrying an interesting looking bundle. We've just collected ours and they're yummy. Mmm, thought Piglet, there'll be something scrumptious in there. But will it be enough for five? I'm hungry. Then two frogs jumped up with a small tin box. Ours is really crunchy. It's our favorite. Mmm, mmm, thought Piglet. I bet there are some tasty treats in there, but it's a bit small for seven, and I'm famished. Next, Dog bounded up, carrying a newspaper parcel. I've been saving this for a very special occasion. Now that looks promising, thought Piglet. It could be something delicious. But will it feed eight? I'm starving. As they reached the picnic ground, two young sheep arrived with a little knitted bag. We hope we're not late. We wanted ours to be as fresh as possible. Just in time, said Piglet, trying to guess what goodies were in it. But will there be enough for ten? I'm ravenous. Let's see what we've all brought, and then we can eat. Here's our favorite food. It's green, healthy, and scrumptious. The sheep were the first to unpack their bag, but inside was... Nothing but four little bunches of grass. What? That's grass? said the others. That's boring. We can't eat that. I've brought something fragrant and ripe. Delicious. Then Mouse uncovered his basket, but inside were two pieces of very smelly cheese. Pooh, said the others. That's stinky. We can't eat that. Mine's rich and tasty. You're bound to love it. Next, Dog unwrapped his newspaper parcel, but inside was a dirty, chewed up bone. Yuck, said the others. That's just nasty. We can't eat that. These are so munchy and scrunchy heavenly. Then the frogs opened their tin box, but inside were eight black bugs. Erg, said the others, you must be joking. We can't eat that. Never mind about the others. You'll enjoy ours. They're so juicy and fresh. The birds unwrapped their bundle. But inside were nine wriggly worms. Horrid, said the others. We're going to be sick. We can't eat that. Oh dear, thought Piglet. This picnic is going to be a disaster. And she took the lid off her basket. And inside were... Twelve beautiful, scrumptious little cakes. 
Yum, yum, said everyone. We can most certainly eat that. So this is what Piglet did. She laid out a large cloth with water to drink and a plate for each friend. Everyone ate the food they had brought themselves and one of Piglet's little cakes. And as for Piglet, well, there were three cakes left for her. And everyone said it was the best picnic they had ever had. And when every morsel had been eaten, they played games until bedtime. And they went home sleepy and happy and full. The end. For more stories, please subscribe to our channel, Little Readers.